It's that time we've all been waiting for. The NFL season is back, and I've got a free NFL pick for this Thursday, August the 12th. NFL preseason is here, and we've got a new promo code. Use HOF, and it'll save you 20% off of the entire picks and parlays. Then the Washington football team takes on the New England Patriots, and with me today, I've got Ross Benjamin, expert handicapper. How's it going, Mr. Benjamin? It's going great, Ellie. How about yourself? I am doing great myself. I'm excited about this matchup. Thursday, it's all going down for real. The preseason starts. Like I said, we've got the Washington football team minus two against the New England Patriots. I see a total of 36 out there. That one jumped up from a 32 and a half. What do you got on this one, Ross? Well, you look at the, uh, you make an astute observation, as you always do, Ellie, um, that line move, which is, like I said, on Sunday's Morning Wood Show, when we did that segment on the NFL preseason, you see these drastic line moves in the NFL preseason. You very rarely, if ever, see in the NFL, okay? I mean, a three-and-a-half-point line move, whether it be on the point spread or the total, is a huge move in the NFL. And I look at the betting patterns right now, and it looks to me like the sharp money's going on the over, and that's where my money's going as well. But, I mean, when you look at the fact that uh, 56% of the bets that have been made so far have been on the under, and those 56% of the bets have accounted for 96% of the money. So we're seeing that's a huge reverse line move. Uh, could be from sharp betting. It also could be from the fact that now that the books have information on which, e which each head coach plans on doing in terms of using their starters, how long they'll use their starters, I'm sure that has something to do with it as well. Um, if you Again, I touched upon the head coaching uh, when it comes to NFL preseason and how much emphasis coaches put on winning or the trends that they show during the NFL preseason. And it pretty much that's my foundation because other than that, that's the only stability you have when betting at this time of year. And uh, you look at Bill Belichick, over the last three preseasons, remember, there was no preseason in 2020, but 2017, 18, and 19, New England played six home games. All six of them went over the total. And the average total in those games were 38.9, which is higher than what it is today, and 55.7 points combined were scored per contest, which is outrageously high when it comes to the NFL preseason, especially when you're attributing to uh, six games worth of action. Now, Ron Rivera, uh, second year with Washington, doesn't have any track history in the preseason with the Washington football team because his first year, like I alluded to, there was no preseason last year. But he did spend from 2011 to 2019 as the head coach of the Carolina Panthers. And during that period of time he was with Carolina, uh, Carolina played 19-9 and to the over in preseason games when there was a total of 43 or less. And that improved to 15-2 and to the over if that total of 43 or less came in Carolina's first two preseason games, which obviously that qualifies for. So those are two trends that are worth taking a note of. And uh, you look at the quarterback depth on both of these teams, look, uh, they're not, neither team's going to wow you with their quarterbacks right now. Uh, Cam Newton is coming off a terrible year. We probably won't see a lot of him, if at all, in this game. But you have the number one draft choice, Mac Jones, Jared Stidham, who was a high draft choice, and Bobby Hoyer, who has a lot of NFL starting experience for the New England Patriots. And of course, uh, Washington, for whatever reason, is deciding to go with Ryan Fitzpatrick as your starter this year, which is mind-boggling to me. But, you know, Fitz, uh, if he gets a couple series, he could put some points on the board. And uh, Mac Jones, their number one draft choice out of Alabama, anxious to see him go. And uh, so they, they have a very good quarterback uh, rotation on both teams in terms of preseason. Now, when it comes to the regular season, that's a whole different story because neither starting quarterback thrills me. And both running backs' rooms are very deep. So when I say that, they go three or four deep with quality running backs on both sides. Uh, yes, the wide receivers for both teams leave a lot to be desired, 
But this number is so low because it's preseason. And, uh, again, I think the sharp money has gone on the over, and that's exactly where I'm going. I'm going over 36 in New England, Washington on Thursday evening. All right. Well, then that's what I'm doing too, Ross Benjamin. That was a fantastic breakdown. As always, we appreciate it. And we are taking it over the 36 points in the Patriots game. Before I go, Ellie, four preseason games will be up tomorrow morning. Um, I have two on Friday night, two on Saturday for sale at picksandparleys.net. Only $10 a piece because it's the preseason. Don't forget, <sighs> folks. Don't ever exceed 50% of your bet, normal bets during the preseason action, okay? As well as I've done four top 10 finishes since 2010. Um, it was four, not six. I've made an error, so I'm correcting myself. Okay. Um, uh, it's still, it's, it's sports betting is not an exact science. The NFL preseason is the furthest thing from an exact science. So just be very careful and be conservative during the NFL preseason. That's great advice, especially for the new bettors out there. Do not put a ton of faith into the NFL preseason. It can be very volatile. So don't ruin your bankroll before you even get to the fun part of using your bankroll. That's well just said. Yes. All right, guys. So let's take it over in that Washington football team against the New England Patriots. Thanks, Ross. Thank you, Ellie.